Okay, okay, okay. So, in recent news, the demon Grundle had a fight with his so-called hero, Beowulf. We have Grundle here with us today. Hello, everybody. So, what's your stance on Beowulf after your guys' like, big fight? I think that he's overrated and all him and his drunk, dumb friends want to do is invade my privacy. Whoa, whoa, let's hear the juicy details, am I right? Alright, so it all started when... Wait, let me cut you off for a bit. We have another special guest with us today. Beowulf, come on in. Hey, I'm grateful to be here, but I didn't know that Grendel was going to be here. Oh, I see how it is. First you invade, then you kill any living organism in the area that you want to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Put down the fist so we can talk this out. Why talk it out when I could just slay him right here? Oh, yeah? Come at me, fool. Cut off your other arm before you can scream mama. You, my mother's already been killed by you. Don't make me call security. We actually found Beowulf's journal. Let's take a few peeks and see what his viewpoint is. Uh, Beowulf is just line 677 right here. Yep. So it says, When it comes to fighting, I count myself as dangerous any day as Grundle. Oh, he is much more dangerous than me. All I wanted to do was get some peace and quiet. That's not true. Everything in that book is facts, not opinions. Wait, let's hear the other side of the story, Grendel. So this is my side of the story. So this hall has annoyed me for years. Ever since Beowulf showed up, it was a lot more loud and annoying to the point where I couldn't even get a good night of sleep without being woken up in my own native land. I've been here for years longer than they have. So basically, you couldn't get sleep, so you slaughtered a bunch of people instead of asking to turn the music down? A little bit crazy. I tried, but Beowulf spit in my face, called me names, and demanded me to leave or else. Beowulf, is this true? You're damn right it is. He better know his place. And what's his place? He was just an ugly peasant. Uh, Beowulf, I don't think you're welcome on this talk show any longer. Uh, please leave. That's, that's unfair. I've hardly even gotten to speak. Well, it sounds like if you keep talking back, you're going to have to swallow a can of butt whoops, so I suggest you leave. Was that a threat? I'll kill everyone in the studio. Security, take him away. No. Sorry about that. Now that he is gone, we can finish our interview. So what made you interested in the land when you first saw it? The uh, land that, you know, Beowulf now terrorizes. Well, I had moved there in my late 200s, and now I'm in my, you know, like, early 500s. So it has meaningful value to you. Oh, yes. Mer very much so. Well, I hope Beowulf leaves you alone, and he doesn't. He's going to get what's coming to him, if you know what I mean. Uh, thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to talk with us. I really appreciate it. Oh, the pleasure's all mine. Uh, thank you, everybody, for turning into Radical Radio. I'm your host, Mr. Squiggles. See you next time.